Today I'm gonna show you the recent update which just came in in Tesla. This is the 2022-44-30 update. <clears throat> so here it shows in the release notes what was changed in the update. So the first thing is they added Apple Music. Now you can stream over 100 million songs and 30,000 playlists ad free. Listen to the entire library. Discover new music, tune into live radio stations and access Apple Music. Just to access, just tap to the Apple Music icon in the application launcher, scan the QR code with your mobile device and log in with your Apple ID. So that's pretty new because Tesla doesn't have Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. Now you can at least listen to your Apple Music. Another feature is now you can attend Zoom meetings through your car screen. I read not every uh, Tesla can do that. It really depends on the chip you have installed on your car. So my car says now I can make video calls with Zoom using the interior cabin camera. If you have a Zoom meeting in your calendar, tap the link automatically, start or join your meeting, and participant video and screen sharing are only visible while you're parked and will switch audio only if you drive. To access Zoom, tap Application Launcher and then Zoom. Then they have also some change in the dog mode. Now you can see the uh, interior camera from the mobile app while using dog mode or sentry mode. To enable live camera, tap Control, Safety View, Live Camera, View, Mobile App. So this feature only works if you have the newest mobile app version 4.15.0 plus and of course the premium connectivity from Tesla. Another new feature they got is the schedule light show. With the schedule light show now you can schedule for up to 10 minutes in advance a light show or watch a multi-car orchestra by setting them to start sim sim simultaneously. So that's really cool when you do like a car meet or some events. Then they did some other changes on the fan speed. Now you can adjust the fan speed intensity while remaining in auto climate by selecting between low, medium and high. Then they added MyQ connected garage. So if you have a MyQ garage opener, you can run that now through the Tesla screen. They added or improved the auto turn signals. Now the turn signals deactivate when you change lane or fork or merge. This was not really working before. It only worked when you do like a full left or full right turn. They did some improvements with the game. They just say they cleaned up the modern design and smoothed the animations. So more or less it's just an update to the game. Then they added a confirmation when you transfer a phone call and now it will request a confirmation before you transfer so, so it will not automatically transfer then they change the contact lookup you can search for contacts from a connected bluetooth device here just it says again to access tap the application launcher phone contact search icon another part which came with that update is media controls. Now the media controls are closer to the driver. They're now down here. You see it actually here. I have a music running in the background which is on mute before it was down here. Swipe up to access recent favorite and sources. Swipe left or right. And also access trips and tire pressure information. Then emissions testing mode via the mobile app. Emission testing mode can now be used for the mobile app. Long press any quick controls icon from home screen and drag the far icon to the top row. Again, this fe feature requires the mobile app version 4.15.0 plus. Then they also changed the always rainbows. Before, most probably you know, when you press down five times the, the arm here on the steering wheel, the rainbow mode will come up now it says it is always available if you're an autopilot and you can have rainbow always active for your screen 
I think they came up with some really cool new features. Interesting for me was the thing with the Zoom meetings. Um, you have to have the right chip. I was wondering how you get to find out what chip you have. So I was told you press here the car. Then I believe it was software. And here you press additional vehicle information. And here you see what chip you have installed. So I hope this video helps and gives you some information about the new software update. And thanks for watching. Don't forget always like my videos and subscribe to my channel. I will bring some more Tesla content soon. Thank you.